The, the cultural heritage organisations have for many years um, been uh, digitising their collections, uh, particularly in 2D but now increasingly in 3D, with a view to disseminating those collections uh, through the internet and other digital distribution networks. Um, some of those networks, such as European, are becoming pan-European and global. Uh, others are more regional and national. But the premise for all of them is that it is a fundamentally good thing to be putting our content into the public domain. The economics of adding uh, value to this digital material is, is really becoming uh, beyond the scope of institutions to do it themselves. The, the reality is we need to do this added value work in partnership. The benefit of that is that it is uh, the discipline of the financial market is that it, we will be producing stuff that is directly consumed by the public. On the other side, um, we have to protect our cultural heritage from misuse. Uh, this can range from anything from cultural abuse to uh, inappropriate use. So the relationship of honesty between the cultural heritage and industry needs to be established, confidence needs to be built, and financial exchanges have to be put in place so that the added value work is a real social benefit uh, as well as commercial benefit. This financial arrangement is nothing really new in, in, in uh, the world of cultural heritage. Heritage tourism is, is, is a truly massive uh, industry. Um, and in, in some instances that has been wholly embraced as a, as a strategic uh, level. Um, in, in, in Ireland in the last few years, um, they developed a strategic fund uh, where they invested in projects, venues that have had a record of successful tourism and required to be refurbished to kick them forward for another five to 10 years. What they were doing there was the, uh, the competition across the country for venues who were proven economically successful uh, to ask for top-up funds to do a refurbishment. And quite substantial funds. I mean, we're talking several hundred thousand uh, euros um, to do a value add to their current work. Um, and that was an open competition and basically about four or five per annum um, are improved and then marketed uh, and the result is that their, their tourist value and their, their local economy benefits. And these are heritage organisations that survive by ticket. Um, they're not, they, don't they don't have an ongoing government sponsorship. So these are cash injections to businesses in effect, but they're heritage properties. And the Irish strategically invested in that and, and continue to do so, even in the worst economic circumstances you can imagine. Um, so that the, the value of economically defining our cultural heritage is, is um, clearly perceived and strategic spending in it has taken place and will continue to take place.